Hi Gemini, welcome to your August messages from Spirit Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Gemini, let's see what for messages Spirit wants you to know right now. So take what resonates for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements of Gemini, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you as we may get many messages probably here one big message depends, you know, how the uh, cards fall. So only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And if I'm reading an energy and you're like, oh, gee, that sounds like somebody else around me, no matter who they may be, you definitely can switch it to. Cross watchers could be uh, some messages or readings for you. So please do keep that in mind. So I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy here, Gemini. All right, Gemini, everything that you need to know, I'm going to kind of pull all your oracle messages here first and we'll go over each one and see what messages are here for each oracle card and then at the end i'll put down a, a spread for the tarot and see what the tarot has to say it could be related it may not be it could be totally different messages so we'll see what comes out here all right gemini so like i was saying everything you need to know is down below your playlist are down there so if you just want to check out other types of readings or past readings of any kind they are down there and uh, it should be timeless. The month is when the messages come out, but they literally could be for any time as well. And if you're new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. And you can find down below the content times days I publish. And if you want to check out my Twin Flame channel, that is below as well. If that's something you're interested in. All right. For Gemini. What does Spirit want Gemini to know for August? I'll pull you three from each deck and see what we have here. All right, Gemini. Let's see. Ruminate. Well, this has been coming out a lot, almost for half the signs. So we have 18, which is 9, which means something's almost maybe coming to an end or full, or full closure or completion. And it's being mindful about your energy and what kind of energy are you sitting in. I almost call, call this like stewing in an energy. It can be good or bad. You can take on other people's energy and kind of ruminate in their energy and take on their energy, which sometimes is not a good thing. Or you can raise your vibration and ruminate that energy out to others as well. So it's all about your energy um, and how you're ruminating onto others or how others are ruminating onto you. So be mindful of your vibration and other people's vibrations around you. So we have commit to happiness. We have 34, which is seven. Seven is a divinely guided spiritual energy. So it's telling you, um, especially if something's coming to full closure, completion, and you're maybe feeling a little down, you know, that's what I'm kind of getting with that ruminate. And it's time to kind of raise your vibration, you know, dare to be happy even if it's really really hard you know because we do have a rainbow color here which can be luck growth expansion so the more it's kind of like ruminating in this high frequency of happiness joy even when it's really really hard could really be a big difference here and we have nurture i almost thought that said nature four which is a stable grounded energy so some of you just need to take care of yourself right now you know maybe you're overextending yourself you're working too much uh ignoring maybe your health or your own happiness and joy and it could be getting you kind of like in a very mundane blah kind of energy too as well with this ruminate so it's time to nurture yourself do what makes you happy commit to your own happiness and try to keep a high frequency is what I'm feeling. And don't try to take, don't take on other people's energy. Sometimes people just kind of suck the energy out of you because of their energy and they don't really know they're doing that, especially if they're kind of Debbie Downers or negative Nancy's. So be very mindful of that as well. So we have gentle gardener. So we have two, which is about choices, decisions. Uh, it can be about partnerships as well. So this is, again, tending to I feel like your dreams your goals your aspirations also your life and what makes you happy and gently again gardening nurturing caring for whatever this is dreams goals aspirations to uh, make the right choices in life here so anything is possible something may be just about coming into fruition 
you can feel it growing, expanding, and you're kind of waiting for it to like crack out of its shell. Could be you, could be something you're manifesting, could be anything here. So it's telling you to keep, you know, being gentle with yourself, especially if you're overdoing it and uh, making the right choices and decisions as well. But keep focusing on whatever you're trying to create here. So we have 39. Boy, this card's been coming out a lot as well. Protecting treasure. And we have 39, which is 12, which is 3, which is about growth, expansion. Um, some of you may need to keep an eye on your money and finances. I don't know why I'm getting that, because I'm getting this protecting treasure. So if you have people around you or people staying with you um, in your home, I know just even if you think you can trust them, I'm just feeling, be mindful of your money, your finances, um, jewelry, things like that. Also, this kind of gives me four pentacles of energy where we're kind of holding back, you know, because we feel safe, secure, you know, and we don't want to kind of step out of comfort zone, fear of maybe losing, because the next would be, if because if you were to say, well, this kind of reminds me of the four of pentacles, the next would be the five of pentacles, where you kind of feel lost, abandoned, left out in the cold, maybe loss of money. So it's definitely an energy here of maybe, you know, check your investments, maybe you need to switch them around, or opening some, you know, maybe new savings accounts or something like that. And we have storm fields. It wasn't reverse. I don't know how they got reversed, but it was reversed here. So we have nine, which is again, another nine. So almost full completion closure here. I feel like, again, if something's coming to a close, if this has been kind of rocky for you, chaotic, I think that's gonna be coming to an end. So you could definitely be protecting yourself here. And whatever this is coming to an end, now it's time to really get back to goals, dream, dreams, ambitions, your own health, and taking care of those things, your home, your family, whatever that means for you. So with this in reverse storm feels, I definitely feel like it kind of gives me tower energy, some sort of chaotic period. Just about will be ending here. So we have queen of cups, compassionate, loving, giving, psychic. This is time for, this is time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful. You don't ignore your own needs while caring for others. Wow. So that kind of puts together here everything we've been saying. So this is Cancer Energy with the Queen of Cups. Very intuitive, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. This could be falling in love as well or loving somebody, whether it's romantic or not. So, and also loving yourself and trusting your intuition and listening to that energy as well. So if you, are, if you have been very caring, nurturing, giving, and empathic, compassionate, just be, you know, careful that you're not, again, I keep getting not overextending your energy as well and again queen of cups can be you know sometimes falling in love or being in love so that may resonate for some oh my god look at this we have the empress and we have the uh hangman so we have pisces libra taurus so we have 12 which is another three and we have the empress which is three so a lot of threes coming in here which means you know threes if you think of every three of the tarot you know three of cups celebrating reuniting people coming together three of pentacles growth expansion a three of swords can be heartache pain disappointment and um three of wands can be looking out to the future and manifesting your new beginning so awakening here you know epiphany aha moment this is the hangman and the empress so we have look at things in a different way and all will make sense don't worry if your progress is ha uh, halted i gonna say healed so that may, could be a message for some temporarily things will soon start moving again so i'm feeling like i keep getting this message i've been coming out a lot um about taking a break pause reflect uh enlightenment about a situation here or your own life you have butterfly here for transformation and then take action so whatever however busy you've been you know it's about pause reflect take a break <laughs> take time for yourself and then when you're ready then you can get back to whatever you need to get back to or make a decision or make plans or uh, thinking about things in a different way so we have the empress here time to hop into action use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life now the empress definitely knows their value and worth so make sure you're valuing yourself the energy around you is it worth your time effort and energy um people places things but also loving yourself, nurturing yourself, giving yourself 
what you need and valuing yourself that is definitely and this could be the birth of new things so whether you know this is okay i want to start this project endeavor um a new job maybe owning your own business being an entrepreneur being more of a leader in some way shape or form some maybe wanting to start a family this is birthing of new energy here definitely we have a lot of threes showing up here which means there is a lot of growth and expansion coming in for you in some way so whether it's something you are tending to gardening um trying to expand it could be a relationship it could be anything so you'll have to take that how it resonates for you so let's see what the tarot has to say so i'm just going to throw out some tarot cards and see what the tarot has to say could be related to this could be something totally different for gemini for gemini okay we have the nine of cups five of wands so i think i definitely feel like here you've been wishing and hoping for some sort of conflict this is five of one is conflict is i don't want to say competition but it could be fighting arguing you know it could be you and someone it could be family it could be maybe at work maybe with your partner you just want wish fulfillment happiness and joy being able to focus on yourself and all this conflict around you just to be done so whatever that is for you and i feel like it is here this uh storm fields in reverse oh my goodness dropping all my cards here all right so i think this situation will be dropped i think it's coming to a close uh pretty soon here so let's see what else we have so we have the queen of cups again wow queen of cups again four of cups yeah you're kind of getting disenchanted with the situation you're kind of bored you're done with it already it's like i just want this to be over and here's the empress showing up again wow libra taurus the lovers hmm okay let's see what else the tower yeah i did say that strong fields was like the tower i feel like some of you also i'm almost feeling like whatever this chaotic period is in your life whatever that is for you once it's finally done it's over with it's resolved and you you take a break for you you take care of yourself do what you need to do maybe a vacation maybe just like a time out for you then you know valuing yourself healing nurturing yourself again here standing in your empress or emperor energy whether you're a masculine or feminine energy here a, sh a big shift is coming in for you with this tower and i feel like if you are single definitely could be meeting um somebody here and it may be out of the blue unexpected nine of pentacles so single secure stable grounded making your money uh so work may be going okay um if you're thinking about leveling up or rising up or changing something I definitely feel like that may be uh, work out well for you as well because we've done the Nine of Pentacles here, which is stable, secure, energy, abundant, making your money, self-sufficient, independent, don't have to worry. Got kind of like a nest egg here. If you can comfortably go do other things and not have to worry. Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning. I think you're going to have a passionate... I think you'll, you're going to be falling in love passionately here with someone and there's a new beginning for you once you can walk away once you're stable you're grounded you've started something or you've risen up or you've taken on a new role and you're comfortable you know you're i heard well reserved or you have a lot of reserves you know in place and you feel free to explore new things i feel like you have a passionate new love coming in here definitely falling in love here with that queen of cups could be a big shock here or change or something unexpected that you may not have been really looking for all of a sudden boom here it comes so i do see here um we have cancer again or it could be any water sign cancer scorpio pisces gemini this is actually you with the lovers libra taurus again aries page of wands could be exciting new communication it could be revolving around some sort of new exciting endeavor project um career move or whatever here if not this is just uh, maybe an invite of some kind it's kind of exciting sagittarius energy with the page of wands page of swords too could be somebody you meet online maybe start communicating with online um but page of swords also you know maybe if you've been thinking about uh maybe as a way of nurturing yourself maybe 
kind of learning some new things online or taking some education courses or something like that or just doing your own kind of research to maybe something you're interested in just to learn more about that you have the star here which is divinely guided energy faith hope optimism which dreams coming true things meant to be so we have aquarius energy there so whatever you're feeling guided led to do this is healing as well regarding learning growing expanding whatever you're excited about it's saying to do this because then we have another three growth expansion with the three pentacles and i talked about that and there you are gemini with the king of swords again we kind of have a, um, books and a scroll again could be learning maybe getting some advice guidance mentorship or something like that or maybe you're meeting another air sign phoenix judgment here so scorpio energy so this is about you know fine there's gonna be a final release here i think whatever this period of chaos or whatever there's gonna be a release here and new things coming in for you so healing forgiving letting go release life review relationship review things meant to be scorpio energy there and then we have a king of wands airy uh leo energy three of cups could be dating getting to know maybe a fire sign or an air sign someone who could be a business owner entrepreneur very exciting fiery passionate could be dating getting to know and then we have the sun happiest card in the deck so you'll soon be happy here this period will be over and i think you'll be falling in love <laughs> maybe this summer so we have leo here with the sun wow so your sad days are over five of pentacles we were talking about that wow all right gemini so let's get you a little more in the queen of cups we have that twice so that's definitely about following intuition higher knowing trusting that you know maybe letting your heart light lead and guide you in the right direction for you whatever that may be and you have the empress right in the middle of your spread could also be like a matriarch patriarch that may help to bring some sort of um chaos or conflict to an end i know empress should be matriarch but it doesn't matter it could be a family member or something like that or a wise elder all right so let's get you a little more advice and guidance here for gentlemen if someone wants to pop out reach for the stars wow we've just seen the star you deserve only the best and this is all you should focus your attention on all right what else here new beginnings take this as an opportunity to rise from the ashes stronger and more determined what else here for gemini smile and we did have a uh, commit to happiness simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference it makes wow a lot of yellow here which is the happiest color you think of the sun it's everything illuminate you know the sun's about illumination happiness joy growth success victory illumination healing love peace i mean it's everything positive so a lot of yellow here and pink is the energy of new love for me it could also be a friendship that could be turning to love if it's somebody you know already so we have first step breaking down this problem into tiny pieces makes it easy to take the first steps so your take so steps are moving in the right direction so either steps you're taking or there's going to be forward movement here and um it's all stepping in the right direction as well become the true you show the world who you really are and what you were born to do we have a deeper red here so if you're getting i feel like you're going to have um you're going to be meeting someone and it's going to turn from new love to a deeper love here over time i feel could even be you know connecting over the summer and then by autumn because we have nine year could be september october um it's kind of grows fast <laughs> it's kind of what i feel if you're single all right gemini that's what i have for you so i hope that helped that resonated again thank you so much for being here it's truly truly appreciated and again you can make a comment below if you've watched my spirit messages i've been changing the format so many different ways and if you want to leave a comment you know what format you like the best or it doesn't really matter you know you can uh do let me know if you like to so you can definitely check out all other past readings playlists are below like i said i consider them all timeless the messages come out on that month but they literally could be for any time and if you're interested in the twin flame channel that is below as well so wishing you the best gemini and i shall see you next time